In this segment, I'm going to cover secrets and config maps. Uh, what these resources are for in Kubernetes is to uh, m mount uh, secret information or configuration information into the container image at runtime. So when you create your container images, you don't want to bake your uh, TLS keys into the image. You don't want to bake your configuration files into the image because every time you want to change something in, in either of those things, you have to recreate the image, which is much more heavyweight than it needs to be. In, the, uh, in, in good container uh, design practice, the configuration for the application would be uh, part of the environment, not the image. And so that's what secrets and config maps are for in Kubernetes. So I'm going to do uh, um, do a dem demonstrate both of these resources. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a secret. Um, you can create a secret through a spec file, um, but the the you know bad user experience element is that the data fields have to be base64 encoded, and so whatever data you're going to put in there in the spec file has to be base64 encoded ahead of time. Um, however, there are helper uh, commands here. So you got kube control create. There's a sub command of create called secret, and you can create a secret called demo, and then use the from literal flag and say, you know, give it a key equals value pair. And you can do multiple keys, comma delimited in this uh, in this value field here. And what that will do is create a resource called a secret, and it's going to contain this information. And this, uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a pod that consumes this secret. And so as you can see here, that pod got scheduled. Um, this is not that different from the pod spec from previous demonstrations in this in this uh, series, but you can see that we've we're consuming this secret value as an environment variable. The environment variable is named password, and we are getting the value of this environment variable. We got value from a, a secret key ref. The name of the secret is demo, right? Which matches uh, this up here. And the key that contains the value for our environment variable is called password. And that is, you know, from, from this from literal here, this is where we specified the key. So if we just look at what the environment looks like, ah, this happens sometimes. Hang on just a second. So this is a uh, an interesting little bug where sometimes cube control exec does not quite uh, return what exact what, what the output is. Sometimes I think there's a race between like the uh, the TTY detaching or something like that. But let me just run that command uh, manually here. Exec demo environment. There. Wow, that was bad. Okay, so. You can see that the password there. So that, that's the value that we put in our environment variable right here. So we've just consumed it. And you know th this image doesn't contain that data. It's not baked in, um, and it's not hard-coded into, uh, into the pod spec file either. We can change the password by just changing the secret. And then you know, any pod deploying will pull this, uh, will pull this reference down. Now, um, secrets can also be consumed as um, files in a volume mount. So if we look at this, um, this is secret to the, similar to the volume mount we did before. Um, we have a volume named secret, which is defined below, and it's mounted at mount. Here we've got volume named secret. These two match, right? And but the secret, uh, but the volume is a, of a secret type, and the secret name is demo. So that's so that's going to create a file uh, files and slash mount for all the keys contained in this secret. We only have one called password. So if we go into cube control exec and we cat mount password, which is the key, the value comes out. 
So the, there's two different, you, those, that's a demonstration of two different ways you can consume secret data inside a, uh, inside a pod. Now, for, I'm going to use a config map just to show you config maps and how the data can be updated in place inside the container, which is pretty cool. So create also has a subcommand called config map, just like you can do cube control create secret. You can do cube control create config map. The name is demo, and we're doing it from a literal. Here's the key. And you know, our database URI is somewhere.com. So we've got our um, config map there with one key, which is our database URI. And we're going to start up a pod that consumes the config map via a volume mount. Um, this here, I'm overriding the command that the image would normally run, and just so that it will cat this database URL file over and over again every second. And as you can see, we got name config map, which match, matches this. The type of the volume is config map, and the name is demo. So here in the bottom pane, um, the, basically what I'm doing is I'm tailing the log from that pod that we just spawned. And as you can see, the value in slash mount slash uh, database URI is this, right? This is the value of our, our config map key. So if we patch the database URI information, we should see that information appear down here. Now the delay depends on a, um, a cubelet variable called the um, sync sync period, I think. Anyway, it can take up to that amount of time for the config map change to appear in the pod. But as you can see, it does appear in the pod. And if you uh, design your application to basically do an I notify on its configuration files and basic and reload those configuration files if they ever change underneath it, then you can actually update your application in place without having to even restart the pod. So that's uh, that's a demonstration of secrets and config maps.